Hey guys, this is Mike with my Mike Stickers, and I just want to show you all my lamination process right now. I know I've shown you all before, but I'm gonna go over this again. So this is just the way that I have it set up here. I have a dispenser that I made myself, a little place to hang my roll of laminate. And then I've got my 24 inch cutter. It's just a cheap 24 inch cutter off of Amazon. I use a tape measure here, put it on the edge, on the guide. And then I pull it out how far I need. Right now I need about 29 inches. Now the only bad part about this, I usually do it at 24 inches so that I can turn it sideways like this and then cut it. But it, 29 inches is too long. So now I'm gonna need to use some scissors. I want to cut some off the edge so that it doesn't over go over the edge of the vinyl. My, I always have a two inch margin on my sheet anyway, so there's room to cut th this off. Now I'm gonna bring it over here. All right, now I'm gonna, this is the back side of it. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off a little bit of the liner backing paper. I'm just gonna cut hard enough to go through the backing paper and not all the way through the vinyl. And it just takes practice. It's really not that hard to get the feel for it. I'm gonna peel back just that part. Vinyl down first. I'm gonna lay this on top and make sure I hold up the edge that I already exposed. I don't want it to actually touch down. Make sure there's nothing on your sheet that shouldn't be. I line it up at the back side, kind of hold it there so it doesn't move. I'm gonna lay down the front side and make sure that I hold the lip up and then I'm gonna lay it down when I'm ready. I'm gonna push it down from the inside, pushing out. All right, that's ready to put it in here. So you go ahead and lay this in here. You have room to roll it in first and get it lined up. You wanna make sure that basically you wanna, the way you set this is you can release all the tension and then you tighten them just enough until you start to feel tension. I always check this one because this one tends to loosen up. So I just always make sure it has tension and it's not loose. I don't ever crank it down again. I just make sure that it's not backed off and you can feel immediately if there's tension or not. Then I hold this part up, bring it over here. I lift up the backing paper and then I hold it up out of the way as I roll it through. like that. You want something for it to go off onto a table or something so it doesn't just hit the floor and get bent up or anything. There you go. So I laminated. Um, this, this one didn't come out perfect because I had something wrong with the ink right here. But you get the idea. All laminated now you can go ahead and do your cut all right guys so now I got to put the sheet inside the the cutter I'm doing it in the rolling this time because the way I'm doing a kiss cut um, I prefer it in this machine so I get the roll of vinyl out put the sheet in here with this crop mark facing out. That one has to be facing out this way. Open this up. 
the way that I like to do it is I like to put my fingers on the crop marks and push it back until I can feel the cut strip underneath it, feel it drop down in the cut strip. And then I can tell that it's positioned where it should be. It's relatively level there, straight. push the pinch roller where it's supposed to be, clamp it down, and then shut the lid. Now I realize I've got something back here I need to move. I have a light back here and it's going to get in the way. Move this out of the way. Should be good enough. All right, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna go over to VersaWorks and press start on the cut file. Looks like it worked out pretty good here. I'll go ahead and weed off the, the excess material. I don't do these big ones like this very often, so I might struggle here. I might have to do it in separate sections. I'm gonna get a razor blade just in case I need it. Sometimes it's easier to trim off some sections so you don't have a whole bunch in your hand get stuck to section sheet don't want it to get stuck to right here I'm go ahead and trim right here pull it over the hole and I want to do like a lower half Final will tear where it's thin if you're not careful, so you gotta be gentle when doing this. These little dental picks, but I gotta take my glasses off and look close and see what all I missed. Right, obviously, the big spot here. Got a bunch of little spots. get an idea of what it takes to do it. That one weeded real well. Um, cut lines look great to me. Have any issues at all with this one other than the fact that the ink messed up on one little spot there. 
Hopefully the customer will be okay with that one. I'm making a bunch of these for him. A few spots of the laminate. They're still um, kind of shrink in a little bit. Fill a little pinhole bubbles. Those will fill in over time. So this one looks good. Um, Got to move on to the next one.